Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning about the constant multiple rule. So the constant multiple rule tells us that when we take the derivative with respect to x of a constant times a function f of x, it is equal to the constant times the derivative with respect to x of the function f of x. So essentially all this means is that we can take the constant outside of our derivative. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the derivative with respect to x of 5x to the fourth power. And so as our first step, let's go ahead and bring this constant outside of our derivative. So we have 5 times the derivative with respect to x of x to the fourth. And so we can use the power rule to determine what this derivative is equal to here. And so we bring down the exponent. So we have times 4x. And then we're going to subtract 1 from our exponent. So 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And so we have 20x cubed. In this next example here, we have the derivative with respect to x of negative 3x to the fifth power. And so as our first step, we're going to go ahead and bring this constant outside of our derivative. And so we have negative 3 times the derivative with respect to x of x to the fifth. And so we're going to use the power rule again here. And so we have negative 3. We're going to bring this 5 down. So we have times 5, and we have an x. And we're going to subtract 1 from our exponent. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. And so here we have negative 15, x to the fourth. In this last example here, we have the derivative with respect to x of 9x cubed. And so as our first step, let's go ahead and bring this constant out of our derivative. So we have 9 times the derivative with respect to x of x cubed. And we have 9. And then we're going to use the power rule to determine what this derivative is equal to. So we're going to bring this exponent down. So we have 8 times 3, and then an x. And then we're going to subtract 1 from our exponent. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So here we have a 27x squared. And so that is how you use the constant multiple rule to find the derivative of a function. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.